After watching most of what I have put together, you must now see that Jesus our Saviour did exist, and I hope you can also see that he is guiding me to gather evidence to show you who these people are, especially the ones that he prophesied would appear in our world. They are the false prophet, and it clearly is this Pope, that uses manipulation to confuse the followers of Jesus when he said that Jesus was not a spirit. Jesus is not a spirit. Jesus is not a spirit. Jesus is a person, a man. He also confused people with his answer on homosexuality. And coming from a scientific background, he should know two elements from the apple forced the body to produce estrogen, a female sexual hormone, and hormones are your thinkers and feelers. Every chemical will get a reaction, and some people will react more than others, especially habitual users of certain drugs like marijuana or alcohol, or those that take a large dose in the beginning. As I said, when you are meant to be God's spokesperson on earth, just repeat his words and say it as he once said. When he denounces Jesus was a spirit, he is setting the path to change the face of religion to secularism, modern day Kabbalism. The Antichrist is also here because under his reign and his party, he caused the Third World War. The world recession was caused during his reign and sickness was caused using all the elements we were warned not to eat from the apple and many more. The war was caused by lies and spies, a trait of the Vatican as this book on its history written by a university lecturer teaches. The rule of law was also used to cause this war and Jesus detested lawyers. The recession was caused by a bank from this group of people that Jesus once came to speak out against. The throwing of their tables in the air and his warnings of their food is one major reason why he detested money. Sickness and disease has always built their empires that were all full of the same mind and body diseases and disorders, all caused initially by the elements of the apple, as this book about the building of the British Empire teaches. The fact that the pharmaceutical industry is the fastest growing industry in the world ever also proves the warnings in the Bible and why Jesus threw their money tables up in the air. Dr. Holder Clark's interview proves why we were warned of the apple, a toxic fungus infested food and medical science has a toxicology department and a microbiology department and they still deny the cause of disease. Where does the patulin mold come from? Patulin is found in other fruits and, and plant materials too, but apples is where we get most of it. You can hardly peel an apple without seeing some mold under the peeling, and that will have patulin in it. Is that what we see in the brown spot? Yes. That's what the brown spot is. It isn't really a brown spot. It's a moldy spot. How do you suggest we prepare our fruit, and how, do, how should we eat it? Mostly don't eat it. Telling me that in all of our pharmacology, all the millions of dollars spent with research and cancer, the native Indians who were using this hundreds of years ago has already had the solution to cancer. Those who were, yes. Jesus warned of their foods because he knew it was causing disease and being used to build their empires. He warned of the rule of law because it protected them from causing disease and killing us with their medicines. That still happens today with some 300,000 Americans dying each year because of over prescription of drugs. The rule of law forced people to go against their God and accept homosexuality and they have a saying I will accept only when I can verify. Therefore. To verify, you would have to speak to God. And I didn't see him walking down Tipperary High Street recently, but I have witnessed the son of the other God, the Antichrist, because I am in commune with Jesus as I keep teaching. 
He is teaching me what causes all disease. And when you force the body to produce female sexual hormones, the body's thinkers and feelers, you will increase the desire for sex. And too much of these hormones in the wrong body will get the wrong reaction. The main message from Jesus was to protect your mind, as I am showing. But just like the cure for cancer, the Vatican keeps this information from you, as the Nag Hammadi Gospels prove. I, Mary Magdalene, said to him, Jesus, Lord, how does he who sees the vision see it? Through the soul or through the spirit? The Saviour answered and said, He does not see through the soul nor the spirit, but the mind which is between the two. This is why in traditional Christianity, the perennial, everlasting, ever-flowing and unceasing philosophy was that the way of happiness and the way to salvation were to be sought not in the external environment but in the individual state of mind with regard to the environment. This is why science tampers with your foods because you are what you eat and what you eat will affect your character. Foods are chemicals and we see what certain chemicals can make people do or think. This article proves one of many lies of science that said cannibalism was a freak of human nature. It clearly shows that like homosexuality it can be induced by chemicals that were originally on the apple. As this book proves about sugar. When you understand the Bible and you see the warning of Jesus, you begin to see what he was teaching, because yeast is a mini version of its creator, the cosmic serpent, the cosmic powers, the superhuman forces of evil Jesus warned us of. The serpent is a devouring influence, and this is what cannibalism does, especially when the human or animal is starved, and aspartame is a drug that creates this impression in the mind. Also, it triggers hunger. Yeast is the spreader of all disease, starting with cancer and all the psychological disorders, especially cannibalism, because yeast has the same mind as its creator, the serpent, the devouring influence. Another lie of the science was shrunken skulls that we have recently witnessed caused by a virus, the Zika virus, a fungus, just like the first fungus yeast, a prion disease, as was CJD. This article shows that injecting the meat still goes on, and British and American history also shows that they use viruses on their people in their underground networks. This article links Britain, France and America, who have all experimented on their people, and this book also links them. This is the truth about the First World War. The Iraq War also links all three of these. These are the three axes of evil, all linked by Freemasonry, that founded modern day science that creates disease causing elements and lies about the cure for cancer and all other diseases that they cause. Character is the sum of a person's mental and moral qualities. This is why your sexuality comes down to the way you think and why we were warned all throughout history, you are what you eat. This is because all foods are made of chemicals, and every chemical has a psychoactive effect. It will affect the mind or behaviour of the individual. All thoughts are chemically produced within. This is biochemical knowledge, which is also linked to the elements around you, and these elements can be the wrong ones, as this book teaches. When you are flooded with aggressive, destructive elements, like in alcohol, your mind can be severely altered, and every society witnesses this every weekend, and what sort of moral society want this for their people? I thought we elected governments to protect us, and not use us for their own gain, as is now the case with all your bribe-taking, money-worshipping governments that allow this evil to continue. When these chemicals severely destroy the mind, they created another profession, psychiatry, and then psychology. But Jesus once warned, 
Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. For what person knows a man's thoughts except the spirit of the man which is in him? Using all their chemical elements, they have changed the spirit of man because they are now teaching you that you and everything around you is made up of elements. And this proves another of the teachings of Jesus when he said, you are mind, body and spirit, they are one. When you change the elements within, you change the spirit within, the nature of the individual. The elements that make up the apple come from the mind of the cosmic serpent. That is why they destroy you. Sugar, parabens and yeast not only uh, force the body to produce estrogen, they cause cancer and sugar and parabens feed yeast and other fungus and microbes that feed on you and cause and spread disease. The apple makes cider that affects the mind psychologically and all cider drinkers eventually get stomach cancer. An honest and truthful society would teach their citizens how to look after their body and mind as Jesus once did. But a deceitful, cunning, lying, money worshipping, secret keeping and devil worshipping society as it was during the time of Jesus would use their citizens for their own gain even if it meant staying silent, lying and keeping secrets and watching many of them die of disease caused by what they eat that were first offered at the altar in their so-called places of worship. Roman chapter 14 verse 15 If your brother is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause ruin of one for whom Christ died. These people trick you by using Hippocrates' name to create their science and then Jesus our Saviour's name to create the so-called religion that honoured and worshipped their God, the crucified serpent. There are two gods, as the Book of Black Magic teaches. The Golden Ass, a Latin novel of Apuleius in the 2nd century BC, the Egyptian mysteries of Isis, the same time the Pharisees and the Sadducees in the Bible were created, teaches, I approached the very gates of death and set one foot on Proserpine's threshold, yet was permitted to return, born through all the elements. At midnight I saw the sun shining as if it were noon. I entered the presence of the gods of the underworld and the gods of the upper world, stood near and worshipped them. Another time they brought their experiments was after the Crusades. Isaac the Blind brought the demonic worshipping cult of the Hebrew, the Kabbalah, the esoteric science of the rabbis, to the Western world in the 13th century, the time cannibalism appeared in the Western world that you now know can be caused by chemicals. Cannibalism has followed these people throughout the ages, and I know because I am being guided by the torchbearer of the truth, and when I asked what they did to him, this is what he taught me. What I discovered rocked me to the core of my foundation, but as I said, I wanted to know the truth. I must warn you, if you are easily upset, please do not listen any further, but it is my duty to teach the world how truly demonic some people are. Every time I asked our Saviour a question, he guided me to a book, but they didn't come instantly. I had to keep returning to charity shops or bookshops to find the answer. Eventually, a book on black magic turned up, and in it was a scene that taught me what they did to him. This is why I will forever call him the most courageous man that ever graced our beautiful earth. When you know yourself, you will truly know that he loved us and did everything in his power to save us. These demonic people tortured him, then strung him up like an animal, they then blooded him and butchered him like they do to animals, and then they ate him. This is why the sacraments are the highest insult to my God, the creator of all the good, and his courageous son. Because not only do they feed you the elements from the apple created by the devil, they re-enact what they did to him.
every week. The entire religion insults the memory of our Saviour and the ones that brought science and that also worship the devil reenact his death also. This is the initiation ceremony into Freemasonry, the founders of modern science. They drank his blood and ate his body and then trick you, he said this to his disciples. Why would he drink wine and eat bread when wine destroys and defiles the mind, the main message of our Saviour, and their bread contains yeast, the mini serpent? This book also teaches that shamans were mainly of a nervous disposition and predominantly homosexual. This book teaches that paranoid schizophrenia was common amongst world leaders, especially royalty, the cause of all original wars. This book teaches of the words of power that have a hold over people like hearts and minds. Another war created because of paranoia was the Iraq war that used that terminology, hearts and minds. Recent headlines about the British Labour Party, the main instigator of the Iraq war, show that they support paedophilia, as these headlines proves, and stories about drug fueled orgies on both sides of the British House, even homosexual orgies, is proof that chemicals severely affect our thinking. This book teaches the creator of hallucinogenic drugs that are used in shamanic practice a system that is sweeping across America. Not only is science using these elements in medicines, the political party that caused the Iraq war wanted to legalize marijuana and they also supported paedophilia. The cosmic serpent is the entity our savior was warning us of and they get you to honor and worship the same entity by not only tricking you to eat the elements created by this entity but to look up to and worship him. This is who the man on the cross is, the crucified serpent. This is the entity that Moses, the patriarch or founder of Freemasonry, followed and the Jewish religion. And he, his staff was the serpent and he was a paranoid schizophrenic homosexual, just like members of the British and American Empire. Their science is now using more elements of the serpent in their medicines and now using nicotine that comes from tobacco, the mind of the cosmic serpent, caffeine and alarmingly snakes venom, as an article in this scientific magazine teaches. These elements will soon build up inside the minds of people here on earth and cause more demonic acts like cannibalism to occur because people's minds will be infested with elements controlled by the mind of evil. This is why some people that get high on drugs kill people in a paranoid schizophrenic frenzy and say God told them to do it. This is what Britain and America did recently in Iraq because they both follow the system of Freemasonry or Theosophy. Theosophy, a form of speculation, mysticism or philosophy aiming at the knowledge of God by means of intuition and contemplative illumination or by direct communion, a system founded in the US in 1875, which claims to show the unity of all religions in their esoteric teaching, manifested by occult phenomena. The occult phenomena is the Kabbalah that Moses followed. Jesus was a healer, and using his knowledge, I have cured my asthma. So why hasn't these so-called knowledgeable men and women, your scientists, discovered a cure? It is because they use the elements created by the serpent to allegedly cure you. The same knowledge that caused the disease. This is insanity. This is why they will never find a cure. Because they follow the liar and cheat and murderer as Jesus warned when he said. You are of your father the devil. Your will is to your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature. He is a liar and the father of lies. 
But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear them is you are not of God. When you unearth another message from Jesus that has become known as an ancient secret, you see what he meant when he said, Therefore I say unto you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you will receive them and you shall have them. The last statement is a clear indication of what some people in our world desire. When you really desire something in life, you will receive it. I have always desired the truth all my life. And when you build a society on secrets or secret societies, as the British and American and most European countries did, you will deny your people the truth. And this will deny them Jesus, the torchbearer of the truth. Britain and America has always led the scientific world along with the French. And Freemasonry is the organisation that brought science to the world. And they do honour and worship Satan. Jah, Bull, On. Yah, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. Bull, or Baal, the ancient Canaanite fertility god associated with licentious rites of imitative magic. Licentious, debauched, loose in morals. These traits are evident in the British and American and now European societies, either by force or by trickery. On, Osiris, the ancient Egyptian god of the underworld. Baal was a false god who competed with Yahweh for the devotion of the Israelites in the Old Testament. Baal has been identified by demonologists as the devil and Yahweh is the god of the underworld. Baal, which is the god they refer to in the Freemasons, a cult which runs through the British establishment, signifies the Lord, Master, Owner. It is related to a word to take possession of, and this is what all royal families were known as, Landgravers, and so were all their followers or lords. In 1976, Pope Paul VI confided to a shocked audience that the smoke of the devil has entered the very sanctuary of St. Peter's Cathedral. He also stated that he had knowledge of a midnight hour black satanic mass being conducted at the altar. Many previous popes referred to the Freemasons as a group of secret societies in the kingdom of Satan. In 1976, Cardinal Abelard Brandeo Viela, primate of Brazil, received the title Great Benefactor of the Lodge. A British investigative programme on the BBC Panorama filmed many world leaders attending one of these black satanic masses. Satanic worship has recently mushroomed in recent years and Catholic cardinals, bishops and priests have joined Masonic lodges. New York's Terence Cook, one of America's most powerful Catholic cardinals, addressed a gathering of 3,000 Masons. Refraining from mentioning the name Jesus, the name despised by many Masons and prohibited inside their lodges, Cardinal Cook bowed to Masonry's worst heresy by remarking, I know your belief in the Supreme Being, the great architect of the universe and of the holy writings appropriate to the religion of your members, and I salute you for your loyalty to these ancient values. The Supreme Being Cardinal Cook is referring to is the one Jesus warned us of. For the fight is not against human foes, but against cosmic powers, against the superhuman forces of evil. Ephesians 6.12 Religion, and Freemasonry is a cult or a religion, is a belief in a superhuman being or beings, a personal God controlling the universe and entitled to worship and obedience. Isaac the Blind, a French Jew, revealed the Kabbalah's fundamental work, the Zephyr Letzera, or Book of Creation, and Zohar, or Book of Splendor. Another book of black magic that teaches the initiated or student how to control the forces or elements of darkness. 
This is why whiskey was known as the devil's drink, an alcohol brought to the world by the Scottish, the home of modern science, the home of the empire, and the ancestral home of the Antichrist, and the ancestral home of most of the American government. Jesus warned you what they would do when he said, Matthew 23, verse 13, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you shut the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you traverse sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you are twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Proselyte, a new convert to some religion, party or system, especially a Gentile convert to Judaism, and secularism has its roots in Judaism. Pharisee, a member of an ancient Jewish sect who religiously observed the rites and ceremonies prescribed by the written law and were marked by their exclusiveness towards the rest of the people a self-righteous person, an anxious hypocrite. These were the traits of two world leaders that took our world to war. Sadducee means a member of a sect among the Jews arising in the second century, who adhered to the written law to the exclusion of tradition and denied the resurrection from the dead, existence of spirits. This was the same time the book of black magic, the golden ass, about Isis, was written. This is what secularism is tricking you to do, and when you deny spirits, you deny Jesus, as the Pope did. Secularism was founded by George Jacob Holyoke, who was Jewish, and he was editor of the atheist paper Oracle of Reason. An atheist is a non-believer, and this is what secularism is, and in the beginning, all scientists were atheists, and soon they will try to make the whole world like them, a proselyte, which in modern times is a secularist. Secular, of or relating to the present world or things not spiritual or sacred, not ecclesiastical or monastic, not concerned with religion. They use the forces of the darkness to control you and then trick you there is no spirit world. The belief that religion should not be taught in school or not be part of education. Religion is a way of life, but they even manipulated that. These people never taught you the message of Jesus properly and are now blaming religion on all manner of problems, even the wars that they caused to expand empires. Religion was a system they brought with them and they also brought you science or the new knowledge. And in the beginning, all scientists, as I said, were atheists. Now they want religion removed and our world to be led by atheists or secularists or proselytes like them, as our saviour did warn us. Just another warning that they have hid from you. Jesus came to teach us a way, not a religion, and he warned us not to listen to the hypocrites who have forced their religion on the world and now want to take Jesus out of it altogether, as they are now doing. Hypocrites, how can they blame Jesus when they never taught you his message? The destruction of all your minds has led our world on a cycle of war and revenge and destruction. They have shut the kingdom of heaven against men with toxins in the foods, chemicals that alter your state of mind and change your perception of reality. This changes your thinking and can also make you blame the wrong people or God for your downfall. Religion and science are one, and they have always been brought to our world by one group of people that trick the small-minded that Jesus was one of them. I am a follower of the Spirit of Christ, and he never was one of them. They are descendants of the original children of hell, Adam and Eve, or Isis and Osiris. All ancient religions honour and worship these two, and all modern religions are the same. They all follow the path of war and revenge. Once again, Britain, France and America and now the entire European Union cannot be trusted. They will drag you into a nuclear war. 
It is to happen soon. You must rise up peacefully and stop what they are to do. The Iraq war is a clear indicator of their intentions and their history is proof that massacring the innocent is what they will continue to do when you are continually hidden from the truth. In order to change our world individually and collectively, we must first have a change of mind. An alcoholic is not going to give up alcohol while they think that what they do is no harm. What is a government or country that is led by a system that believes that what they do is protected or written into law as the Pharisees and Sadducees in the Bible, the people Jesus came to warn us of, or did. To change our minds, we must first change what we put in our mouth, the main message of Hippocrates and Jesus, two names they have used to trick you, they were helping you. This allowed them to infest all your minds with elements of evil that all started with the apple and their religion, then all royalty, and now most world governments. You must now avoid yeast, all yeast, and the next time you hear God save the Queen or God bless America, I hope now you know which one they mean. Anyone that worships or follow a God that sanctions murder is not a child of the creator of all the good and beauty in our world, and the father of the torchbearer of the truth, who is here guiding me to unearth all hidden truths. Life is truly what you believe, individually and collectively. And when you believe in any religion or science, you are being tricked to worship and honour the devil, whose disciples are amongst you. Both these systems came from the Kabbalah, the demonic worshipping cult of the Hebrew, the esoteric science of the rabbi, that now encompass all your governments. That is why they are all full of deceit, corruption, dishonesty, and they only care about making money and their economy and not the life of the individual and the population. This includes the entire Irish government, the most worst and rancid in their entire history, who are soon to trick their people that God sanctions abortion, an effect of all the experiments of the British Empire, as Dr. Weston Price discovered. The world we live in exists in the minds of the gods, the one of evil and the creator of all the good in our universe that control the elements that they create. We get what we want individually and collectively by thinking about it. That is why America has caused more sickness and disease and war than all nations put together in the last 30 years because they have been programmed to think that way with the battle cry of the devil. God bless America. Everything does start with a thought. It is how my God created all the heavens and the earth. And it is how the other God is getting all you to destroy it. By infesting your minds and countries with elements of evil that all started with the apple. I hope now you can see the truth. And soon the light of our Saviour will once again shine upon our world. May his light always shine upon you and his truth now save our world. Please pass this on as quickly as you can. These people must be stopped.